Okay, so the uh, the seats are out and that gives us a lot more room to work. Um, so now let's get stuck into stripping out the uh, the main cabin. Um, so before I get started, uh, I did do a photograph heavy step-by-step -step guide to this when I was doing my two-tone uh, custom interior uh, a couple of years back. Um, I'll put the link to that in the um, in the description below. Uh, it's a great resource and um, you know, really steps you through how to remove consoles and get the carpet out and do the headline and all those types of things. So uh, it'll be a great support to, I guess, these videos. Um, certainly uh, one tip for people who haven't done a lot of work in the interior before is take lots of photos. Um, they come in really handy when you're trying to remember where wires plug in and where nuts and bolts go and things like that. So um, Anyway, they're just uh, tips from uh, my past experiences. Okay, so the first task is to get the center console out of the way. Uh, the console is held down at the back um, with uh, a couple of bolts, one there and one there, 10 mils from memory. Um, and then another, another two uh, underneath the trim there and on the other side. Um, so the first task is to uh, get this trim out of the way. Um, so you need to pull up the gear knob and just pull the, the gator out so uh, that's that piece um, using a trim tool um, slip it into the corner here um, I have to leave to get that out of the way uh, here and just lever it and then once you've got enough leverage out of the way you can generally just use your thumb your fingers and lift that up now, don't pull it up too far because um, there's a there's a plug here for the iDrive that needs to be removed. Um, just pulls it out, and usually there's some wiring under there as well. So uh, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, and then with the handbrake, you just lift that piece up and pull the handbrake cover off like that. So uh, that's the console. Um, beginning to be stripped out um, and then you basically lift the trim and just wiggle it out uh, this way. Okay with the trim out of the way we can get a better look at the uh, internals of the console itself um, bearing in mind that mine's been modified so it will look different to yours um, so remove this uh, piece of foam and now inside you can see there's uh, some wiring um, basically in here there's uh, some connectors for uh, the cigarette lighter or you know power source a 12 volt power source in the front um, and otherwise it's sort of run down to particularly in an auto they have bolt wires that run down here for the um, for the gear selector uh, you have these sad looking little foam pieces that um, act as uh, noise dampeners that clip on these little bits here they can keep them use them and put them back later um, and there's a lot of wiring you can see some of it here uh, that runs up through them underneath the console itself um, it's part of one of the main cabling thoroughfares uh, that um, run to uh, uh, various wires out the back of the car, but anyway, we'll have a look at those later. So the next bit is to get these bolts out. Um, these plastic covers just come straight off, like this. Uh, you um, just use a, a um, socket to get those out, and the ones on the back. And then we can lift the console up and um, start sliding it out. But we'll need to disconnect some of the wiring at the back here now. Once again, I'm not going to be able to do that while holding the phone, so I'll get stuck into that and uh, be right back. Okay, so the uh, console is now out of the way, um, and we have a lot more room to move around. So let me quickly run you through what's underneath the console here. Um, so basically, uh, you've got the studs that hold the console down at the back, um, the wiring that was sort of un um, under the console that need to be disconnected. You've got an airbag module here which we'll need to take out a little bit later. Um, wiring looms, uh, your handbrake uh, mechanism, um, more wiring looms leading up to the front. So uh, that looks all a bit messy underneath the covers. Um, 
just uh, one hint when you're pulling the console out you basically need to lift it from the back here lift it up um, so it's uh, it's still sort of connected in here um, underneath this panel um, and you need to pull the handbrake on as hard as you can because it needs to this tip needs to clear the handbrake slot and it won't do that unless it's pulled right with the way back but once you uh, do that and you lift the console up you'll be able to slip it over the top of this uh, handbrake and then basically uh, lift the console out but as you're pulling it out make sure that you disconnect um, the wires uh, as required um, otherwise it, uh, it it won't come out properly so that's what it looks like um, and so uh, we need to clean up all of that stuff there so I'll get on to the next section and um, be right back